A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulil Amri Minkum. Man abdukul ajeez, da'eef, o miskeen, zalim, wa jahar. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. <coughs> Alhamdulillah that we left off last night and the importance of of the world of light and that everything has a zikr, everything has a praise and Allah has a reality in everything. And it's a good character and muhabbat and the good adab and good manners that Allah will open for us His heavenly kingdom. And Allah's might and majesty and, and grace is in small things, it's a treasure. We said that many times we're lost in the big items and big issues and we think that all the prayers, the fastings, the hajj, all, all these things that are mandatory and the secret of, of good character is not in the mandatory issues. The mandatory is a given in which Allah is expecting you to do that. And when we think that what somebody is expecting us, Allah is expecting us, that's not where the, the secret of this reality is hidden. But when the servant does what they do from what Allah expected and that goes beyond and above and that's the sign of good character and sincerity <clears throat> that it's the small issues in life, the small points that others may overlook but one whom is seeking Allah's nazar, that Allah's radiance and mercy to be shining upon us, that the nazar and attention of Sayyidina Muhammad to be shining upon us and to save us through difficulties and trials and tribulations that are opening very fast upon this earth, it's through the little actions or what we may deem to be little. We said last night in, in just the story in the qasa of allowing a fly to drink from a water well, from an ink well and that was all just for the sake of the Mila the Nabi We don't understand the immensity of the mawlid of Prophet and that Imam Ghazali was given his amanat, his trust, whatever he was striving for, for the opening of his heart. All of the exterior actions, the known actions were not as dear to Allah as all those actions, all your salah, all your zakah, all your hajjs, all, all, all that you're doing. If it doesn't give you khushya in your heart, doesn't give you kindness and softness and, and grace and rahmah in your heart, what is it that you're doing and why are you doing it? Means that it didn't change the character. So Allah is giving for us example, Prophet is inspiring for us the example, all those actions should give you to be a soft heart and be compassionate for others and for every creation of Allah Have the compassion for every creation of Allah and try to, to live a life with that type of character, with that type of softness, strive in our lives to have this softness, <coughs> to have this good character so that Allah will begin to open His grace upon the heart and, and His emanations and blessings upon the heart. Now is a world of just exterior, there are, there are children who going around and, and coming against the ulama, coming against shaykh saying, you're, you're this, you're that, you're, you're not a shaykh, you're not this. The, there's no one claiming to be anything. No one should be claiming to be a shaykh, there is no shaykh, there is no anyone. 
war that we are all striving for is just to be a good servant of Allah and the guidance that one gives is from their own path, their own character. They should be sharing from what they went through in life, not the book of someone else's journey but the, the guide whom is sharing is sharing from his own life, his own life's experience, what he was put through, what he went through. And if that's of benefit to others then alhamdulillah and that's all that's important. The end result is that you should have an immense love for Allah immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and that your character and the teachings of that person should have been emphasizing your character and not your amal, not your degree. No one ever claimed that we are the ulama of Azhar and that we came out with scholarships and, and awards and, and, and plaques and no, no, we are just the nobody people that Allah inspired within us to have an immense love for His Divinely Presence. There are people whom are seeking Allah and there are people whom have been sought by Allah that they have been called into that presence, they have been brought into that reality and their duty is to merely convey their experience to people and they speak only to themselves and others are just the audience of that byproduct. Means that they're, they've been taught to, when they talk they're talking to themselves. For the one who talks through their lips and hears through their ears and looks through their eyes, they're asking for that one to address himself. That the one whom is occupying to address me and what I'm in need of, what I have to be reminded for in this world that becoming harder and harder and harder and the character of people becoming worse and worse and worse. Then the reminder always to the self that's coming is be good, be gracious, be kind, be kind to all of Allah's creation so that Allah takes pleasure in you. And that's why Prophet taught there are servants of Allah that their perceived amal may be weak and may not be up to certain people's standards. But their akhlaq, their khuluq and their character is what is raising them in the Divinely Presence. And we pray that Allah make us from those, not the ones whom have been sent to schools and to study and they studied the religion through a book and they became a copy and photocopy of a book but they live the deen and that Allah inspired within them. First go attain your mercy, attain your good character, attain your understandings and we will teach you. And that's what Allah wants for His servants and this is the path in which inshaAllah Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah is set upon this earth. Bring people to good character, bring them to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and the knowledges and realities Allah will open and pour into the hearts of servants. It's not something difficult, the difficult is the character. The difficult is to remind oneself to always be soft, to always be polite. In a world that becoming more and more impolite, we said now that nobody even has social etiquettes. The children and youth and even older people now because of computers, because of typing, they forgot how to interact with humans and how to have a dialogue and how to have a conversation with people, how to have a conversation in which you're very humble in your approach and not aggressive, not obnoxious, not, not intrusive into somebody's life and into un, unto people's uh, privacy. This whole adab of how to even communicate becomes more and more lost and as a result the adab becomes more and more like drifting away. And without the adab people don't know how to interact, they don't know how to say thank you, they don't know how to even show the smallest sign of gratitude and appreciation. And the tariqah comes to remind us, look difficulty is coming, 
We are people that we must show gratification, we must show thankfulness. And to thank one another is the highest form of thanking Allah To be kind to one another and to be gracious to Allah's creation is the highest sign of showing Allah our love for the Divinely Presence. And we pray that Allah inspire us to goodness, to good character and to be exemplars of our faith so that Sayyidina Muhammad to be happy with us, to, to be looking and nazar upon us not through shame and embarrassment but through pleasure and satisfaction that I'm pleased with your character. And as a result that fire, that light and those emanations they come like a breeze, like a gentle breeze out of nowhere a breeze may hit your heart and it takes, it takes, it, it's a dress that can't be explained, it's an emanation of love from Allah's Divine the Presence. We pray that Allah to dress us from those realities and to bless us with good character inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.